Hey guys, welcome to Skilllink. If you're somebody from India, you would have seen metal working shops on the roadside. Most of the time, a worker would be hunched over a metal bar or rod. A very bright blue light emits from the metal. The blue light is nothing but heat from welding. And this is our topic for today. Around 50 different types of welding operations have been catalogued and recognized by the American Welding Society. We can divide welding processes into two major groups, fusion welding and solid state welding. In this video, we'll be talking about the fusion welding process in detail. The fusion welding processes use heat to melt the base metals. In many of the fusion welding operations, a filler metal or material is added to the molten pool of metal. This is done to increase the strength of the weld joint. However, all fusion welding processes don't use a filler material. Such processes are called autogenous welds. If the material of the filler is the same metal used for the parent material, then it is called a homogenous weld. If the filler material and the parent metal are different, then it is called a heterogeneous weld. In this video, we will have a brief discussion on the different types of fusion welding processes and then we will discuss in-depth working of each of the welding types. The first type of fusion welding process is the arc welding. Arc welding refers to a group of welding processes in which the heating of metals is achieved by an electrical arc. Some arc welding operations also apply pressure on the workpiece during the process for better weld quality. Most arc welding processes utilize a filler metal. The second type of fusion welding is gas welding. In gas welding, a strong high temperature flame is generated with the help of flammable gases. The flame is used to generate heat and raise the temperature of the metal piece at the place where the joint is to be made. Due to the heat from the gas flame, the metal at the joint starts to melt. The molten metal is then joined to another metal workpiece. A filler material is also added to the molten metal to act as a binder. The molten joint is then allowed to cool and solidify. Many different combinations of gases is used to obtain a heating flame. The most common being oxygen acetylene flame. The third type of welding is thermite welding. In this type of welding, a thermite compound is used to weld two metals together. Thermite is a type of chemical composition of a metal powder. The powder normally consists of a metal and a metal oxide. When ignited, it undergoes an extremely exothermic redox reaction. Here, the oxide from one metal transfers to the other metal. In this process, a huge amount of heat is generated for a brief period. Thermite welding is mostly used to join rail tracks in railways. This was done as it required almost no heavy machinery and is very fast. This welding process is also used to repair rail tracks as the molten metal from the reaction can be used to repair the tracks. Well, that's it for today's video guys. In our next video, we'll have a very brief discussion on each of the individual processes we have talked about. Until then, bye.